statistics report that comes out, and it shows that I scanned 17 barcodes out of the um, 1,450 barcodes that I have in my system. So I only did um, roughly 1% of my bibliographic record or 1.17% of my um, holding section. And we can see that all here. The system would go in and it would tell me um, out of the books that are marked missing what is the cost of the newly missing items, the percentage of the newly missing items. So I can see that in this inventory I've lost $32.97 worth of books. Now the system also goes and it tells me what's going on with my inventory. So we can see highlighted I have some missing books, some misplaced books, and some out of range books. So let's go through all of these tabs and I'd like to explain what they mean. If newly found were to be highlighted, that would mean that the book was marked missing at some point during the year. And then when you do your when you did your inventory, the book was found. So you must have scanned it and the book was found. So now what happens is that book should just be um, changed. The status should, uh, should be changed from missing to normal. Your next section is missing. And this gives me um, all of the books that are missing. So I didn't scan anything in the professional collection. So they're missing. I could have, though, when I was in the session itself under call number range, I could have come in here. So let's go in here and let's um, edit this. I could have told the system here under prefix, don't look at any prefix. So by clicking prefix and not putting any there, Anything there, I'm telling the system not to look at the prefix. If I just wanted to inventory the professional collection or the ref reference collection, well, I would put in that prefix right here, and then the system would just inventory that specific section of the catalog. And let's go back now to our inventory. So we have these items that are missing. Now, both in the missing section as well as the newly found section, you can have the system mark all of the books that are missing. You can have them mark them as missing right here. All I'd have to do is click Mark Missing Items, and it would do it for me automatically. I wouldn't have to go into cataloging and change each individual book. Same thing with newly found. I wouldn't have to go into circulation and uh, return all of those items. I could just click the button and the system would do it for me. The next option is invalid barcode. Invalid barcode means that it's not your barcode. So maybe the book belongs to the public library. Maybe it belongs to a school library. Maybe it belongs to another library um, in general. It's just not yours. The other way that you can get an invalid barcode is if you um, accidentally sometimes scan the UPC code, the full UPC code, that could sometimes register as an invalid barcode. The next section that we have, this would be misplaced books. So these are any books that are not on the shelf properly. So we can see here that we have um, the book computers, which is 001.6 OBR. We show that on the shelf before computer wars which is 001.6 HAR. So the system is telling you where to locate the book. So it basically wants you to go over and take out um, zeros. It wants you to take out computers and put it after computer wars. So even if you don't read your shelves, the system will come in and tell you if the item is misplaced. But now if you would have checked off in our setup, if you would have checked off don't check the item part, it would not have looked at this HAR or the OBR. 
and it would have just said, okay, they're both 001.6s, so they're in the right place. So that would be the difference of checking off the item part um, to look at the item part or not. The next section that you have is loan shelved. Loan shelved simply means that you scanned a book in your inventory that circulation has checked out to someone. So that item would have to be returned in the circulation module. You have no barcode. What that means is that the catalog does not show a barcode in the 852P field. So even there, though there is one on the book and you scanned it, something happened within cataloging. Um, when the item was being cataloged, somehow the barcode was forgotten to be put in. So you would just have to go into cataloging, open up the record, and add the barcode. Any questions? No. Okay. All right. Uh, next we have duplicate barcode. Now, duplicate barcode would really only pertain to anybody that was using 2.8, which is one of our older systems. Um, the, the newer versions do not allow for duplicate barcodes. Uh, can I ask you a question about that? Sure. Um, uh, when it comes up and says um, duplicate barcode when you're entering something in, um, how long does it retain that barcode? Let's say I have a um, an item and I deleted it from the system. I, I purged it from the system. Mm -hmm. Can I use that barcode again? How long does the system hold that number? As long as you purge this, the record, uh -huh. you can use it again immediately. Okay. Right, okay. Thank you. Sure. Next, you have out of range. Now, we did a partial inventory here. I told the system I only wanted to inventory the 000s through the 100s. But in that section, it happened to have found five books that were misshelved. These books actually belong in the 500s. I'm sorry, I found three books that were misshelved. They belong in the 500s. So I can just go to the shelf grab them, and put them where they belong. And then your last tab is the statistics tab that we first looked at. And these can all be printed. 